Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Upboard Squared, otherwise known as the Upboard 2, and I wanna test out Visual Pinball 10. Now I have a few tables here that I wanna test out. I'm only using a single display in this video because the display port on the UpSquared does not recognize my display port to HDMI adapter for some reason. I tried to get it set up, but it just won't recognize it. Up does make a few revisions of this board, but this has the highest end CPU that they make in the UpSquared. I only have four gigabytes of RAM. They do offer an eight gigabyte model, but I don't think that's gonna help out with Visual Pinball that much. The GPU is a built-in Intel HD 505. It's not top of the line or anything, but it does play older games pretty well. I'm gonna be running these machines at 1080p full screen. I will show you a 720p windowed version. It does run better at 720p. The lower resolution, the higher frame rate you're gonna get. But when you're building a visual pinball machine, you want the highest res you can get. The first table I'm gonna test is Attack from Mars. I do have Fraps running, so the FPS will be listed in the top right hand corner. So here's the first table I wanted to test. We're only at 40 FPS. This is at 1080p landscape. I didn't go to portrait mode. We're only at 40 FPS, and I really feel that these games should be running at 60 or higher. Even at 720p, it struggles to hit 60, but not all tables are created equal. I did find a couple tables that run pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to 720p window mode. I'm gonna actually set up my whole computer to run at 720p. I just really want to see the performance gain here. Now, when you're building a visual pinball machine or virtual pinball machine, you definitely want the highest resolution you can get. So I don't think the up squared is going to cut it. Let's move over to 720p windowed with the same table. Here's the same table at 720p windowed. We're above 60 FPS. This is going to be nice and playable, but the graphics have been deteriorated going from 1080 to 720. And I had to put it in window mode to get to 720p. Even if my computer set to 720p, the resolution it lets me go to still lags a lot. It's around 30 FPS. Now you could play these games at 30, but like I mentioned, 60 is the sweet spot for a fast moving game like this. Here's a Spider-Man table. All the rest of these tables that you're gonna see in this video are at 1080p. And we don't even have a second monitor hooked up for the back display, so that could definitely take some power away from the CPU and GPU in the long run. Next table I tested was Ghostbusters. I have to turn the sound off. Sound does work great with the Ghostbusters table, but it does have copyrighted music in it. We got a little higher FPS here, but we're still not at 60. Like I mentioned in the beginning, not all tables are optimized or created the same. The next table that I'm gonna show you is one of my favorites, and it actually runs perfectly on the up squared. And here's the table that runs really well. We're at 150 FPS. I have the settings exactly the same as the last tables you saw. This table is very well optimized. It runs great on a lot of hardware. I actually tested this on the UP1 and it ran at 60 FPS. We're at 150 FPS, so yes, there are tables that you're gonna be able to find that'll run perfectly at 1080p on the UP squared. But there's probably more tables out there that aren't gonna run well on this board. Here's a RoboCop table and nothing has changed from the Simpsons to this, just the game itself. And we're under 30 FPS. So if you're looking to use the up squared for a visual or virtual pinball machine, I suggest looking somewhere else. Unless you want to run at 720p, then most of these tables are going to run over 60 FPS and you have a great experience, but you definitely want that resolution if you have a nice table. Here's the last table I'm gonna test in this video. I did test South Park and it runs under 30, so a lot of the stuff isn't working well. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I did this video because I had a few people ask me to test visual pinball on it, and as you can see, a lot of the stuff does not work well. Don't forget to check out the first video I did on the up squared. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and on screen now. I did test some Steam games and some emulators, and it does a pretty good job for what this board is. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching. Real quick, I just wanted to remind you guys that I do have a Patreon, and if you're interested in helping the channel out, I really appreciate it. I also offer monthly Patreon giveaways, 
So go ahead and check it out. Links in the description.